Okay, so I just started probing around on this circuit board very recently, so it's not like I'm a definitive expert on reverse engineering or reverse engineering this particular product. However, I want to share some of my insights here for the build log and then also maybe get some feedback from people online looking at you, EEV blog. And um, yeah, maybe we can actually kind of piece together what this is and how it works and what parts are easy to, to reuse. So today I was, again, probing around. I think this is about an 18 volt solar panel. I think these are red LEDs. And I'm pretty sure that the whole thing is turned on with a magnet. So there's a Hall effect sensor inside. Uh, so let's actually dig into it and look at the circuit board. And we'll post some high resolution photos. So this plate here, this white plate, is screwed down but we've already taken that off um, and maybe I should have been showing you here already and I'm actually going to disconnect uh, some of these probes now and we'll get a close-up of all these connectors but this big one here goes to the echo sounder at the bottom um, this is the most confusing part of it to me uh, another confusing connector is this one here which is just a ground and it goes to a ground screw and the ground screw is just plugged into plastic. So if anyone knows what the heck that could be for, I'd be interested to know if that's actually important to do. And then lastly, there are three different isolated battery cells here. Uh, they're alkaline batteries, which I don't know, maybe that's just for shipping purposes. It's a big pain to get lithium shipped. Um, and they're different sizes. My suspicion is that only one of the cells is actually rechargeable, but so these three stickers there. So now we have the main circuit board out, solar panels, and what remains here is the battery pack at the bottom. If I can pull it out. Again, alkaline cells, which is an odd choice, but I guess just for, for whatever reason. And then finally, so we have everything out except for now, there's one more board at the bottom, and underneath that is the uh, transducer for the echo sounder itself, which is glued in there. I, I am open to ideas for how to get it out. Um, but yeah, so those are kind of the components we're working with. And we're going to do a close-up here, because I would like to talk about the typology of this board. We'll unscrew it now. 